Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on DarkSec. Today I have a little bit of a different video. This is a very special video. Uh, is it something that I've wanted to cover for quite some time on the channel? However, I wanted to wait for a little while until after the event ended. So today we're going to be taking a look at Day 24, the trial before Christmas from this year's Avid of Cyber. And we're going to take a look at the Easter egg, walking through it and breaking down the different steps in it. And the Easter egg in this, uh, there are little bits that I'm probably going to miss, just small details, but we'll walk through the big section of it. That being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and start the machine. Now, one thing to note, I believe it's on the thumbnail version of this on the uh, actual background here. There is a Tron logo hidden up here in the moon. Now, if that doesn't give you an idea of what the uh, Easter egg is themed after, uh, well, you'll see it soon. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and deploy the actual box attached to this room, and then I'm going to shut the attack box. Yeah, you can see it right up here a little bit more clearly. And then we can go ahead and start taking a look into the Easter egg. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and when we are back, we can start digging into this uh, with it being loaded. All right, and we're back. So now we're going to go ahead and actually dive into the Easter egg itself. Uh, first things first, you will want to perform an nmap scan, and if you've done this event and done this room as part of the event, you probably scanned this and found uh, or saw that there were two distinct web servers on this. There is a web server on port 80, and then there's one on a higher port that I forget the number of at this time. That being said, uh, if you watched the video that I did over this uh, day originally for the event, I put a quick note at, uh, in the comments that if you want to find the Easter egg, don't follow my instructions. And in my instructions, I explicitly say that we're going to go and uh, we want to investigate that higher port, which is pretty common for a CTF box like this. That being said, we're not going to follow my instructions. And well, rather, we want to take a look at what's on port 80. And we're going to go ahead and do exactly that right now. And that's interesting. That is the TriHackMe website. Uh, this is actually an offline clone of the TriHackMe website that we've kind of frozen in time. Uh, so you can go through and see, yeah, this was a while ago. We're at almost half a million users right now. So you can go through and play around with that. However, there's a lot more here. <laughs> what, what would an Easter egg be if we didn't have multiple layers to it? Uh, so the next logical step here, we found a website we want to go ahead and do go busting or uh, dirt busting on this recursively. And you can go ahead and do that and you will eventually end up finding a directory that is the number three. And that's interesting. Uh, that's retro. That is from the first advent of cyber. Uh, this is a box that I made for the first advent of cyber. This is the website that was on it. Uh, the website retro fanatics. And you can see right at the top, there is a Tron arcade cabinet. So, okay, we found that. Uh, if you click any of these links, I believe it sends you to Rick Roll. Uh, however, a couple of these are also uh, Try Hack Me codes, which you can see down there. So subscriber codes. So you could get, uh, if you were fast enough, you could find vouchers in this. Pretty cool. That being said, we want to go deeper. And if you continue Durbusting, you will find this next website, which is in the three directory. Now this one, if you look at the title, will say refresh me and it will change between a bunch of different sites. So you have uh, Varg's Twitter, Mir's blog, Spooky's blog, and then eventually this should get to my website, the dark sec homepage. And we'll give it just a couple more tries. There we go. So this cycles through everyone that worked on the box, all of their websites. Very cool. Uh, that being said, let's go another way, layer deeper. And those of you familiar with classic nerd movies will start seeing where we're going. Uh, <laughs> and we get our first Rick roll. Um, this was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we put multiple layers of this in. If you continue Durbusing, you will get a two. And you'll find this uh, shout outs. Uh, this is everyone that tested the box along with uh, some community shout outs for uh, some younger members of the community that we wanted to give shout outs to that they were doing a lot of really cool uh, hacking with this event. Um, and here you can see the credits of who made the box. So very cool. I believe there's also a sub voucher in the source code of this page. 
in the comments. Continuing on, I think we had a couple layers of this, so you, yeah, so you couldn't miss it. And you're going to start seeing kind of a weird pattern emerge. And another Rick Roll, because, you know, you got to make sure that you had at least one of those. And then the last layer was four. Interesting. Okay, so that's, let's go ahead and put this in full screen and take a look. This is something. Uh, let's go ahead and name ourselves Dark. And I don't know if it's going to let me go into this. Uh, however, first off, uh, this pattern up here, if you Google this phone number, this is the phone number for the Whopper computer, the NORAD Whopper computer from War Games. Uh, so that's the actual pattern up here. However, uh, this, uh, and it might not work in the attack box, uh, this is uh, Tron. This is actually the video game Tron in the web browser. And... Uh, <laughs> If you actually are able to get it working, and it looks like it might not want to work for me in this case, the uh, you can change the name of the opponents in this, and we've gone ahead and hard-coded in uh, myself and the other box creators as your opponents that you can play against. So definitely recommend going and checking that out. Uh, that being said, if you find the higher-level port and are poking around there and get root access to this box, you can also see a bunch of this uh, hidden on the box too because you can view the web directory structure. Uh, additionally, if you poke around on the box and look at the users along with the organization and like the details for those users, they all work for uh, Flynn uh, or Flynn's Arcade um, and there's or Encom. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs hidden in there. Uh, if you haven't seen Tron, I highly recommend watching it. It is one of my favorite movies and it's the entire theming for this box. That being said, that's the Easter egg. Again, I recommend going and trying this out for yourself. It is very, very fun. This is one of those things that uh, if you can grab Chrome and put it on the attack box, it'll definitely be worth it. Or performing it from uh, your own Kali box or just spinning this up and connecting your host machine, like a Windows machine to this, would also be, be pretty fun to go through and play around in it. That being said, that's going to do it for this video. Kind of a quick one, but also a very, very fun video. If you like this Easter egg, feel free to comment about it in uh, the comments down below. If there are other themed boxes that you'd like to see, I have a couple that I've been working on, and I'm very excited to see when they ultimately come out. Uh, however, if there's themes you want to see, or if you uh, were frustrated with this box, please comment down below. But until next time, uh, happy hacking!